Hey guys, uh, today's video we're going to talk about uh, resultant forces. Uh, okay, I think we've talked about it previously. Just to do a quick recap, let's say uh, over here, um, we have two forces. One force, uh, the short force you can see is comprises of one unit. Let's say we assume uh, five small squares or a big square to be one unit in length. And uh, the second force will be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five units for for uh, the second uh, force, one unit for the first force. So what do you think will be the resultant force in this case? All right, let's check it out and boom. Okay, you can see it's a one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, what you do is just add both the forces together, right? If it's in the same direction. Okay, what about if it's in the opposite direction? Let's see uh, what's going to happen right now. So let's say I have one force uh, five units to the right and the smaller force one unit to the left so you can see my resultant force is basically just five minus one which is one two three four over here so four units so you can see uh, okay just to put it live here you can see as my force change okay, you can see uh, how my uh, resultant force actually changed so if i were to increase both forces you can see oh yes actually basically gone out of the screen okay so basically this is uh, in one direction all right so what about if it is not in this in 1d that means uh, two dimensions okay and just like uh, what do you mean by two dimensions okay and boom check this out all right so basically when we are looking at forces in two dimensions that means uh, let's say i have uh, horizontally one two three four five six units to the right three units upwards what do you think will be the resultant force where do you think will it go will it be six plus three not really right because if imagine if uh, this is a you are on the water you're pulling it to the right six newtons of force and pulling it upwards three newtons of force roughly where would the boat go the boat wouldn't go to the right neither will it just go up it will roughly go in this general direction right okay so how will it see and three two one boom okay you can see that okay how my uh, resultant force here you can see it moves more to the right than upwards right okay so something interesting here okay see can you recognize any patterns of my resultant force if i want to change my component forces check this out I want to reduce it. Oh, look. Can you see my resultant force also goes down? Okay. And oh, what if I want to change the angle? You can see, as I change the angle, what happens to my resultant force angle also? It changes, right? So, what about the other one? Same, right? So, is there a pattern that you can observe? Uh, how do we actually, how can we actually draw resultant forces for, um, um component forces that means these great forces that are in two dimensions okay all right you guessed it so let's say if i were to have a uh, two forces you can see here two forces uh, basically how i draw my resultant force is that first i were to draw a parallelogram first okay you can see here i have a and b forces first draw the parallelogram that means a force I draw a dotted line parallel to A, another dotted line parallel to B. Okay, check this out. Boom. Okay, you can see. Uh, first, I draw the parallelogram. After that, what do I do? From the start, I just draw a line all the way to the end, and that's known as my resultant force over here. Okay, you can see. As I move it, oh, you can see my resultant force will change. But what is one thing that's always the same? you can see i will always be able to form a parallelogram no matter what happens right so as i form a parallelogram both the forces are moving out from the same origin i can actually draw the resultant force okay from one corner to the other corner okay main thing is will it make sense yep does make sense why because if i pull something let's say looking at here right if i pull something up versus pull and pull something to the right at the same time where will my object go it would just go up neither would it go to the right it will go 
northeast in this case okay hope you enjoyed this video all right i'll see you in the next